Santa Carolina, the pearl of the Indian Ocean. It is truly an enchanted isle, known internationally to thousands of discriminating vacationers as Paradise Island. Less than two miles in length and half a mile wide, it is the crystallization of one's dreams of romantic coral isles and faraway places. For here, nestling in the sun, cradled in the clear Asia blue waters of the Indian Ocean, is a palm-fringed haven, formed with lush tropical vegetation and bordered by dazzling white sands. From the rocks on the island's point, there is the ever-enticing possibility of a record catch. Inshore fish are present in abundance at every season to satisfy the netters and the light tackle enthusiasts. From this point, there is the unforgettable sight of the fishing fleet returning to the bay at the end of the day. As the boats come in, so the whole island gravitates to the jetty in the last light of the setting sun to watch the unloading of the catch. Here is the real spirit of Santa Carolina. The throbbing excitement of success and the inspiration that will drive the fishermen out in the first light of tomorrow with the eternal hope that it will be their day for the king of fish, the big marlin. As the climbing sun streaks the rolling surface of the Indian Ocean, the fleet heads eastwards for the rich fishing waters lying to seaward of the outer island of Bazarut. Feather lures have been set to snare the fast game fish that feed near the surface. And on every boat, fishermen wait excitedly for the first strikes of the day. Hunting marlin usually means hours of patient trolling, providing a real contrast to the feverish activity of the early morning. But this time the pickup comes soon after the baits have been set. It is a slow, heavy take, which probably means that a shark has got to the bait first. Every minute now that the baits are out of the water is time wasted in the search for the prized billfish. So the fisherman, having nothing to lose, makes the fight a quick one. Again, the marlin baits are set. The heavy rods are replaced in their special holders. The New Zealand reverse rigs are carefully re for a simulated natural action behind the boat. And within a short time, the Dacron lines are again pulling steadily from the outrigger clips. Up and down the long miles of deep blue marlin waters, the boats of the fleet patiently work in search of their prey, while the fanatical fisherman, ever alert, watches the endless ocean, hoping to see something that might portend a change of fortune. It's a marlin, and the fight is on. Speedily, the other baits are pulled in and the rods removed to avoid any possible entanglement. The fisherman braces himself in the fighting chair, straining with to prevent the big fish taking too much line in the early stages of the fight. 500 yards have peeled off in the first frantic run and he can't afford to let the marlin have much more. When the great fish pauses, the fisherman moves into action, powerfully pumping back, yard by yard, the quarter of a mile of line that the marlin stripped off in his twenty... It might take him an hour or more to win back that line, only to have the rested fish peel it all off again in another 20-second dash. To outmatch one of these kings of the sea requires the very best of tackle and a great deal of powerful stamina. It is obvious that the fight is already beginning to tell. 
Many a lesser man has given up and passed the rod to a fellow fisherman, thus buying the catch from any possible recognition. In the scorching midday sun, this is hot work. Frequently, not a fisherman, but the heavy reel too has to be doused with water to cool its smoking brakes as the marlin makes yet another dash for freedom. But the fisherman must go on tirelessly pumping back every one of those hard one yards. Time and time again, the great fish makes a valiant effort to throw the fatal hook as he lifts himself out of the water on his powerful tail and shakes his mighty head. But a very tired fisherman is still on top to claim another few slow yards in the long, arduous fight. Victory is now in sight as the double line appears out of the water, spurring the fisherman onto the final effort to reel in those last yards. 928 pounds. Truly a great game fish. The Marlin of Santa Carolina.